good day everyone so welcome back to my youtube channel and today we'll be talking about negative angle identities so this is trigonometry and Kessaligan's vlogs okay so we have here the negative angle identity so take note of this negative angle identity sine negative theta is equal to negative sine theta and we have cosine negative theta is equal to cosine theta and tangent negative theta is equal to negative tangent theta so these are the negative angle identities take note of this one because uh, this is very useful as we are going to take another course of this subject okay so what's the concept behind negative angle identities so let's have the concept about negative angle identities Here's an illustration I would like to illustrate for to you. So, all right. So if this is the Cartesian plane, so we have here the positive angle, which is in quadrant one, okay? So, and we have here, going here, negative angle, which is in quadrant two. All right, so this is the negative angle. So take note of this one that is the y, this is the y, and this is our x, and this is our r. And also this one is negative y, and this is our r. Okay, so we have here the r, the y, and the x, negative y on r. So take note that sine here theta is equal to y over y over r because that is opposite over the radius or the hypotenuse so sine here in this part if we're going to take this one sine negative theta is equal to negative y over r so take note this is sine negative theta is equal to negative y over r so what's the value for y over r so therefore sine negative theta is equal to negative the value for y over y is equal to sine theta so therefore sine theta so therefore the first identity is sine negative theta is equal to negative sine theta the same with the cosine the cosine is cosine theta in a positive angle which is this part from this side so we have here x over r so our cosine negative theta we have here is equal to x over r still because this is positive so take note that cosine negative theta so cosine negative theta is equal to what is the value for x over r we have cosine theta so therefore cosine negative theta is equal to cosine theta all right so we have here problem number one. So given that sine A is equal to 3 fifth and A is the first quadrant, find sine negative A and cosine negative A. So let's have first an illustration. Okay. So this is an illustration. So we have here in a quadrant one. Of course, if this is a quadrant one, this is our A. And we have here 3 fifth. So this is 3 and this is 5. So we have to find for the value for our x. So we have here by x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. Rather, x r squared, the radius. So x squared plus 3 squared is equal to 5 squared. So x squared is equal to 5 squared minus 3 squared. So x is equal to the square root of 25 minus 9. x is equal to 16 square root of 16 so x is equal to positive 4 why we choose positive 4 because it is in quadrant number 1 all right so we have here now the value for our x so now we could now find the value for our sine theta sine negative a so sine negative a is equal to negative sine a so we are just going to get r sine a our sine a here is given which is 3 fifth so therefore our sine negative a is equal to negative 3 over 5 so that's it 
for sine negative a. Our cosine a, cosine negative a is equal to cos a. So we're just going to get the cos a. What is the cosine a? Our cosine a is equal to, which is our 4, we have 4 fifth. So therefore, our cosine negative a is still, we have 4 over 5. So this is the concept about problem number 1. Okay, so at your home, please try to answer this one. Stop, try this number 1. From sine negative 60 degrees is equal to negative 1 half square root of 3 and cosine negative 60 degrees equal to 1 half. Find tangent negative 60 degrees, cotangent negative 60 degrees, and cosecant six, negative 60 degrees, and sec negative 60 degrees. So try this one at home and please answer. All right, so we are done with start, stop try this number one. So moving on to the next problem, problem number two. It states that write the expression in terms of sine and cosine and simplify so that no questions appear in the final expression and all functions are of theta only. So we have here 1 minus cosine squared negative theta and 1 plus times squared negative theta. So we have here sine squared negative theta plus sine squared negative theta plus cosine squared negative theta. So let's start with letter A. So our letter A is equal to 1 minus cosine squared. Okay, we'll just write here first. 1 minus cosine squared theta, which is negative, over 1 plus tangent squared negative theta. So this is our A. So if we're going to have this one, this is 1 minus cosine squared theta over, and this is negative, so therefore 1 minus tangent squared theta. Cosine still the same, and we have tangent squared. The negative is here, will be transferred here. So we have here 1 minus cosine squared is equal to sine squared theta over 1 minus tangent squared is equal to second squared theta. So therefore, we have sine squared theta times we have 1, alright, so we have here over rather, over 1 over cosine squared theta. Okay, not this. So we have here sine squared, so sine squared theta, the take the reciprocal, we have cosine squared theta. So this is number one, the answer. All right, for letter B, so we have here the problem. We have sine squared negative theta plus tangent squared negative theta and we have plus cosine squared negative theta. So this time we have here sine squared and cosine squared that is equal to one. So one plus tangent squared theta is equal to second squared theta. So this is the answer for letter B. So at this point of time, so I would like you to answer at home. So we have here, stop, try this number two. So write the expression in terms of sine and cosine and simply so that no quotients appear in the final expression and all of the functions are of theta only. So we have 1 minus sine squared negative theta plus 1 plus cotangent squared negative theta. And number 2, we have negative second squared theta negative theta plus sine squared negative theta plus cosine squared negative theta. So I hope everyone you will be enjoying this moment and the rest of this topic will be applicable for this one. So this is a prerequisite so you have to study first one before you're going to go further with another session. So thank you so much for tuning in to this uh, Cast Study Guns blog and I hope everyone you have to comment your answer in the comment box. Thank you and once again, goodbye and God bless.